I'm Vanessa Ruck and welcome to the XL Moto Garage. Today we are going to be looking at three of the most popular adventure motorcycle helmets that are all under 400 euros. With an adventure motorcycle helmet, they are designed to tackle a wider breadth of environments. So whether you're on the road or getting muddy off-road, that does mean you get a little bit of a compromise in some areas. So for example, a full road helmet is gonna give you a little bit more comfort and longevity for the miles and a full off-road helmet is potentially going to be a little bit lighter with more ventilation. So the ADV helmets sit in the middle, bridging the gap and giving you a bit more of an all-rounder for your adventure riding capabilities. Today we are looking at three of the most popular adventure helmets available on xlmoto.com and they are all available for under the 400 euro price tag. Let's start with the Acerbis Flip 6062. The helmet comes with a removable peak. It has a scratch resistant visor, which doesn't come with pin lock as standard, but you can change the visor to give you that functionality. Ventilation on the chin and on the top of the helmet keeps the airflow going through to your head. The inside is comfortably padded with a ventilated texture that is easily removable to wash when you get a sweaty head. We've got a quick release fastener for easy fastening with gloves on. And it has an integrated sun visor for when the conditions change. And that's easily operatable with big adventure gloves on. Weight wise, given the entry price is slightly on the heavier side at 1600 grams, plus or minus 50, depending on the shell size that you go for. So summarizing it, this is a really good bare bones adventure helmet to get you started. Moving on from a service, we have the O'Neill Sierra 2. Going up in price category, this is a little bit more money and with that comes with a few benefits. Coming as standard, you have the Pinlock Visor, which is going to help with anti-fogging, fully removable peak, full air vents across the helmet. Now on the top of the helmet, they're not closable air vents. The one on the chin is closable. There is plenty of space should you want to remove the visor and put goggles instead of a full visor setup. And on the underneath, we have the quick release fastening as well, which is great for those big chunky adventure gloves and fully removable inner lining so that you can wash it and keep your helmet fresh. It is also a little bit more generous on the internal padding for comfort. With its slightly more aggressive styling, we do also have an integrated sun visor and weight wise, this is 15, 90 grams, give or take 50 grams, depending on the shell size that you are going for. For the options that this helmet ticks, it really is a bit of a bargain. You are looking a slightly cooler riding option for the summer than the previous option. But if you're looking at some really cold riding, you might find the non-closable air vents a little bit chilly on the brain. Another benefit of the O'Neill Sierra 2 is the size of the opening. It makes use with goggles a little bit easier. Having a play around with the Acerbis one, some goggle brands might be a little bit of a squeeze. So stepping up and putting a little bit more money into your helmet, directly comparing these two, with the O'Neill Sierra 2, you are gonna be getting a slightly more aggressive helmet. It's got a bit more of a plush inside as far as the foam padding and pin lock comes as standard. If you are looking to spend a little bit more money on your adventure helmet, then the Aero Commander is going to give you quite a few more benefits. Straight away in picking up the Commander, I can feel the weight reduction in this helmet and it is 1430 grams. Again, a little fluctuation depending on the shell size you go for. This is certainly the most advanced helmet that we are looking at today and it still comes in under the 400 euro mark. So the Aero Commander does all of the things that we've talked about that the other helmets do. So you've got the interchangeable visor, pin lock as standard, comfortable integrated internal padding that's removable and the same quick release fastening functionality, but it has some extras. There are four cool features that we need to talk about on this helmet. The first one is the intercom integratability. It comes with a hole on the side of the helmet, ready to take the wires for your intercom. It also comes with a few extra bits in the box. 
First of all, we have a additional wind block, which goes in under the chin to help keep the wind reduced. We then have some additional little plastic clips. They're super simple, but if you want to take your visor off, you leave the vulnerability of the mechanisms exposed. It comes with little guards to go on there and keep everything safe. And my favorite bit is the action camera integratability. So on the top of the helmet here, using a screwdriver, you can pop off the little cover on the top, add in the base mount, and then it comes with a couple of different action camera mounts. You might recognize this one. That will stick on the top, probably worth having a lanyard, but you are then ready to go filming your adventures. So the Aero Commander really does have some additional key benefits, which justify its slightly higher price point. Ready action cam, intercom ready helmet, and definitely slightly lighter weight. The Acerbis Flip FS6062 features a scratch resistant removable visor, integrated sun visor, quick release fastener, no pin lock, and weighs in at 1,600 grams. The O'Neill Sierra 2 features a polycarbonate ABS construction, multiple air vents, padded comfort liner that is removable and sweat absorbing and washable, micro lock closure, pin lock 30 fog resistant insert lens included, clear visor plus secondary integrated sun visor weighing in at 1,590 grams. The Aero Commander features a composite shell, double D ring chin strap, removable and adjustable helmet peak, integrated sun visor, pin lock included, a washable interior liner, action cam mount, washable cheek pads, is intercom ready, and weighs in at 1,430 grams, plus or minus 50 grams, depending on the helmet shell size. There we have it, three adventure motorcycle helmet options across the spectrum of budgets, but all under 400 euros. Please do let us know in the comments what you think of these helmets and what helmet you are riding in. We thank you so much for tuning in to the XL Moto Garage and we look forward to seeing you for the next episode. Thank you, see you soon.